forcing Esam, and I don't know if like it was actually like a force thing, but like Esam, of course, Pikachu, a little different online with fighting the Shotos. On offline, a little different online, of course, different story, but um, force him to go Min Min. So of course, Riddle certainly knows how to blow up stocks. And I, when I think of Sephiroth, I'm thinking of like that light frame. I'm just thinking of like, you can't trade with Terry. Are you crazy? But we're going to have to see how it's going to play because in that same statement, Sephiroth also has a lot of precision and a lot of ways to deal with Terry off stage very well. Counter, of course, the aerials. I mean, you name it. You keep Terry at bay. You force him off stage and Terry's going to be struggling. Yeah. <laughs> no. On oh, stage, we see where uh, that uh, who will be struggling and Sephiroth. That, 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 that Riddle made that look easy. Yeah, of course, um, that doesn't mean anything. We saw what just happened with Steve, okay? <laughs> Very true. Wow, riddle me that. Yeah, that wing is, is looking like it looking like it don't even matter here. Riddle just doesn't care. Yeah. Like the wing just, you know, makes it look better as I am in your face. <laughs> Comboing you. Got up on time, good stuff. Yep. And you might be gone. Not quite yet, but if you get another hit up close, that's probably gonna be a wrap. That's re-grab right there, yeah. Okay, try to wait it out there with dash attack and look at this the small. Yeah, that yeah, that is gonna be enough. Are are you okay? You good? Are you I mean, good? Riddles doesn't even have go meter yet. Are we gonna shield or are we gonna get it? We are gonna shield. Okay, go meter is online. How do we recover? We're gonna wait a bit. Still jump. alive right now. Oh, beautiful right there. Crack shoot. There's the back special. No parry. Oh, it does get the parry there that time. I was like, is he going to shield or is he going to parry? But great parry nonetheless. Staff off, of course, a little long for the punish. And yeah, go meter is here. So you know what Terry needs to know. Terry, I just, I just want to know if you're okay. Yeah, I mean, right now, Terry's still looking okay. Not so much anymore. 168 when that stock finally goes away. But 45 seconds into the match, you know, you're already down a stock. You're on your last stock here at 59%. It's looking really, really rough yeah, if you are the opponent for Riddles. Yeah, quite literally. Vapor's going to have to figure something out here in quick. I like that little conversion there with Nair. You know, letting him off the hook ever so slightly when he got on that platform. But yeah, you just... Terry's so funny running over there. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. I'm going to do it, a little football player. Terry definitely has the dad run. Like, he just ain't ran in a minute. Yeah, that's the fullback, okay? Yeah. This is not a running back. He got that. Let me show what we used to do back in the day, son. This is how I used to run. Okay. Yeah, and it just, I mean, yeah, Riddles again, once more, just looking so good up close. You know, Sephiroth, of course, really, really built more for like the longer range gameplay. You know, does have like Nair out of shield, has some quicker options, but. You know, Terry up close just really makes you sweat for a lot of reasons. And they all they all have to do with dying and death and damage. So, um, of course, Riddles just really made a statement there in that first stock and then did it again in the second stock. Vapor is going to have to dig deep here for this next game. I'm, this ain't impossible. I do think that Sephiroth has some advantages over Terry. This is not out of the realm of possibilities. But it's just tough, though, because Riddles and Terry has... Uh, they have a very, very big advantage when it comes to damage output on Sephiroth. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that there's no easy answer, but I do think you need to do more Nair out of shields. Um, mm -hmm. Riddle's having a field day on your shields. So maybe you hold your shield, you do some Nairs to alleviate some pressure, and then your get you're like your stay away moves need to be preemptively thrown out. You know, you gotta use this range. Jump up and throw these aerials until you get close. Whether it's back air, forward air, or even falling up air, you have to keep Terry at bay, right? Because right now, Riddle's just running in your face and you're doing nothing to stop it. Yeah, I mean, that's just fighting game one-on-one. -on -one. You know, don't let your opponents jump on you for free. You don't let them just consistently keep running up on you. Um, I mean, that's really how you have to combat Terry because the minute you guys have any sort of real interaction, whether it be a straight hit or a trade, you know what I'm saying? He's he's going to do more damage than you. And if he doesn't, uh, I mean, I guess in a case like this, I guess, you know, Sephiroth certainly has some moves that, you know, probably output more damage than Terry, but Sephiroth, very, very light, can't not take the beating that most characters can. Okay. Great. It gets back to the ledge here. Not quite able to get out of harm's way. So good. Uh, you never see Terry's do that. <laughs> that particular one is normally always grounded. Nothing in the air that's really concerning you about dying. But when Riddle's hitting you, yeah, you might die from anything. 
Oh, you're getting spiked? I, I wanted to mention that. Oh my goodness. Vapor has a down here that goes through the stage last for 18 years, but Riddle says I'm the only person spiking over here. And in case you didn't get the memo the first time, here's an instant replay with your stop being gone as a little bit of a teaser into the next game. Riddle is just, I mean, I just... <laughs> It just it just doesn't even seem fair sometimes. And I mean it's just not to say that Riddles is doing anything wrong, you know, whatever. He's just that good. Like you ever see somebody play so damn good it looks like they're just cheating? Like that's you know, that's really Riddles right now. But again, Vapor has brought it this far into bracket. I mean, here we are, man. You know, top sixteen here pretty soon. Like he certainly knows what they're doing. I don't want to count them out yet, but this match is not looking good. On top of the tolls of Terry, on top of just how good Riddles is, you know, with just conversions, goodbye, my friend. Game number three is where we're headed with the three stock. Um, but Riddles' movement is so tricky because Riddles is just always in a position where they can do an attack, whether it's a crap shoot, a dash attack, or just um, finish a dash and jab you. So you're already guessing, but then Riddles is also backdashing on top of it. So it's, I'm in your face, I'm not. I'm in your face, I'm not. I'm in the air, I'm not. Oh, and by the way, I can hit a button at any time. And that's just so terrifying to deal with. You know, you don't know if you should shield, if you try to counter hit. Um, if you ever stop moving, you just lost against Riddles. And I, I think that's probably the biggest issue is that you're not allowed to stand still versus Riddles. And Vapor's standing still, and Riddles is just exploiting the hell out of it. And I don't. In other matches, I'm I'm with you. Like it's actually kind of okay for Sephiroth to play this kind of I'm standing still type. Of, like, I know you're coming to me. I have the the range to just stand still sometimes and just swing before you get there. I know we've seen that most notably with uh with Tweak versus Quid earlier. Like that's kind of how he played his Sephiroth, and I liked it. But I don't like it versus all characters. And this is certainly one that I'm I'm in agreement with you on. Like I gotta see you just do a little bit more here because Terry is just having just a heyday right now. Oh yeah, no grab for you there that time not the biggest grab range in the world oh no oh my lord that almost killed yeah that's terrifying i mean vapor is looking a lot better right now you can't eat another one of those that's for sure but i am liking this you know vapor moving around a bit more jumping here and there dashing around and all of a sudden posture taking the first stock in the position to do it but you took quite the risk you did get out of dodge how long is the question? 117 to 95. It took the stock first vapor coming alive. Game number two. Yeah, and this is a tough, uh, this is a tough kind of mindset to be in because there's points in times where you have to be aggressive with Terry, then there's points in times where you have to just let Terry be Terry. And I think Vapor in this game is starting to realize like his points a little bit better. But oh my god, I was scared. Oh yeah, if at first you don't succeed, just press them buttons on shield again, and it should go in your favor. Riddles, there's no riddle here, man. He is, he's looking really good right now this weekend. Yeah, that was a really unorthodox counter, but it worked flawlessly. I really like it by Vapor. In a 105, Vapor looking nice. Keeping Riddles at bay, not letting Riddles play that game for fun. And it's working out. Took the stock as well. Vapor right now up a stock. It took a little bit to get going, but Vapor's figuring out what changes needed to be made. Vapor turning that stock into a vapor right there, man. Has one more. It's gonna be quite the don't it's gonna be quite the task. I'm gonna just be real. Because again, Sephiroth very light, as you can see right here, and it's being used against him on top of that size too. Very easy for Terry to punch. But yeah, you're getting punched. Can't do that one on shield for free. Okay, no power dunk here this time. There's the down special. I do like that. I know we've seen it once or twice, but I'd like to see it just a little bit more. Yeah, that should be it. Okay, looking really good now. Has the orbs floating around him. What are we gonna do to... Yeah, I'm just gonna hold shield. Very smart. And then tried to keep it going there with the retreating there. Don't know if that was the best option in the world. This match, this lead that Vapor once had is starting to kind of dwindle a little bit here. And he's kind of steering clear of the plan he had at first. And that could be because he just wants to do away with the stock. But I like that gameplay he was playing earlier. He just kind of kept them at bay. It was using like standing jab, was using tilt. Oh, Lordy Jesus. Are you okay? Are I just you need okay? To know. Is, yeah, it's, you were okay until the end. And, uh, okay. You know, you, you touched on it, Rod. That, that play style earlier of keeping Riddles at bay is what put Vapor in the lead. But you know, when you abandon that game plan, 
you go back to letting uh, Riddles play the game of Terry, which is honestly PVE. There is no interaction for you. It's not player versus player, it's player versus environment. And as we know, players learn how to defeat environments pretty well. We always oh, yeah. beat single player games, you know? So unfortunately for Vapor is going to lose that 0-3 to Riddles. Um, Riddles just playing out of his mind though. I mean, the movement was on point, the conversions were on point, the reads were on point. This was a train that did not want to be stopped. Unfortunately, Vapor was in the path and is no longer in the path. <laughs> that wall has been broken down. So yeah. kudos to Vapor and definitely wishing you the best of luck continuing. You were here for a reason. We saw a glimpse of genius from the play. Just unfortunately, it was the only glimpse and you need a lot more than that to defeat Riddles. Yeah, Riddles was just that unstoppable force that we've been